What's up everyone, Tech Me Out here, and today I'm going to be giving you the top 15 tweaks for your newly jailbroken device on iOS 8.3. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So in taking a look at my lock screen, I have it themed with a tweak called Groovy Lock, and I'm running in specific the theme called Incepted. So information for everything that I'm giving you in this video is going to be down below in the description box, so definitely check that out. You'll also notice on my lock screen that certain elements in my status bar are missing, such as my signal strength and things like that like that and that was done with hide me 8 so hide me 8 allows you to hide things not only in your status bar on your lock screen but also at the bottom of your lock screen in terms of your grabbers and it'll even let you customize what you can hide on your home screen and other elements of your phone that you may not want visible moving on down to the bottom of my lock screen I have lock glyph installed so this little fingerprint here if I were to hold my finger on my touch ID sensor it would animate as if it's scanning my fingerprint and that's done with lock lift so that's really it on my lock screen so I'm gonna go ahead and unlock my device so now I'm looking at my home screen it is very much themed and this was done with a theme called Gotham so the nice thing about Gotham is it gives you these little tiny icons that I feel looks great on just about any wallpaper it's very minimal it not only themes your home screen icons but your settings icons as well so it's pretty nice that it does that Moving on from my theme I have here, we have this clock kind of doing its own thing with its little hands here. So this right here was done with crazy clock. So all that tweak really does is let you adjust how fast the hands are moving. So it just gives you a little animation for your clock over there. Moving on to the bottom of my home screen, I don't have a dock or rather I do have a dock but you can't see it. And this was done with dock color. So hopping into my settings, you do have some options for dot color, such as turning it on or off, or even adjusting the color of what you want your dock to be. So to get your dock like mine, you don't have to adjust anything but the alpha. So this adjusts the transparency of your dock. And I slid mines from the right all the way down to the left, and it gave me a transparent dock. So if you want yours like mine, that's all you have to do. Now a tweak that I typically install that to my knowledge is currently not available for iOS 8.3 is Spring to Mines 3. So my workaround for that to get these labels off of these icons was with no icon labels so all it does is remove the labels that are typically beneath every icon something else I used to theme my home screen was better five column home screen so normally on your home screen you have four icons across in my case I have five and that's because I use better five column home screen so there's nothing to customize about that just install it run it you're good to go now if I were to have icons down here in my dock I have also installed Better 5 Icon Dock so that when I do want to use my dock, not only can I fit five icons up here, but I can fit five icons down there as well. Also, when looking at my phone, you probably may notice that my text looks a little bit different. And this was done with the Bita, Bita, Bita font too. I think I'm pronouncing that correct. Somebody always gets me at every video that I say the name of that tweak. But that is what I have installed to change the font face here. And the particular font face that I'm using is called Hello. Now, if I slide up from the bottom, I have also a adjusted my control center with a tweet called CC controls so I'm able to add different you know toggles here that I may want I can rearrange them so if I hop into my settings with CC controls you can adjust the theme for your icons in control center you can also switch up um, some advanced settings for your icons such as how many are allowed per page or per row and I can also disable or enable certain toggles from control center and now this tweak to me is a must-have and it's status vial 2 and I love it because because it gets that ugly distracting volume HUD out of the middle of your screen and it moves it to the status bar and it's a very clean you know look up here so you can definitely still see how loud or how low your volume is without it interrupting what you're doing on your phone because I hate that volume HUD it's just like right bam in the middle of anything that you're doing so definitely check out status file it's a must have for me so another tweak to check out is video pane now this one is sometime with me at least it won't work in terms of detaching the video from YouTube so it's a floating window but it will work on Instagram so in this case I'm on my Instagram page I have a video playing it detects that a video is playing and it's giving me the option to either cancel it and watch it as is or detach it so that it can be a floating window on its own so in this case I have a floating window I can hop out to my home screen and 
I'm able to still watch the video. Now, something that I have noticed as you can see here as well is that when I use video pane, it messes up whatever I've done here for my dock in terms of dock color. So there might be a conflict there or it might just be my phone, but that's just something to note. Another must have tweak for me is Preference Organizer 2. And this is so because it cleans up your settings to the T. You don't have to do anything but install it and it then groups all of your applications into the appropriate group that it should be in. So it can detect that I have Apple apps, social apps, tweaks, and app store apps on my phone and it puts them into the category as necessary. So you don't have to clean it up yourself or anything. You just install it and enjoy. So definitely check it out. Now in the event where you want a quick way to respring your device, you can download Power Plus. So if I hold down my power button here, I'm given the option to turn my phone off, uh, restart it or lock it or just close out of these options altogether. So in this case, I'm gonna just close out, but that's just a nice way to quickly respring your device. And the last tweak I'm gonna be showing you is popular. So if I double press my home button right now, you'll see at the top, it's giving me my most used applications. So popular is pretty neat in terms of being able to determine that. So if you hop into the settings for popular, you can adjust what appears when you double press the home button and look at the top. So you can either have it show your most used applications, your favorite applications where you can go and select which ones those are right here. And you can also choose to hide the section labels or icon labels. So those are the 15 tweaks that I have to share with you today. But if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. That way I know that you enjoyed it and also it helps out my channel a great deal. But that sums everything up. I will be bringing another top 15, 10 or five or whatever I have for you in the near future. So definitely subscribe to stay tuned. Check out, like I said, the description box for more information about what you see here. In addition to some other cool links that are worth checking out. But that does sum everything up as always. Thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.